It may not have been the largest celebration for the passage of the gay marriage bill, but those who got the news at the Music Box Bar in Jackson Heights were still very full of passion. I think it's a feeling of jubilation, not only for myself as part of this community, but for the community itself. Uh, the fact that now we feel that we are no longer second-class citizens. Jackson Heights is considered to have the second largest gay population in New York City outside of Manhattan. It is also predominantly made up of immigrants. Openly gay city councilman Daniel Drum says the gay marriage bill has special meaning here. And some of the people that come here come here because they're gay and they want to be free. And in some of their homelands, they can actually be killed for being gay. So they come here looking for that freedom. And tonight we can add to that list of freedom. Stephen and Renzo have been a couple for a year. They don't have any immediate plans to marry, but they like what the bill stands for. Our relationships are the same. Our level of commitment is the same and our level of rights and our level of of dignity is the same. We deserve the same rights under the state law. I'm very excited for, you know, couples are planning to get married. You know, finally they were so many years and they dream just come true, you know. The celebration here in Queens will continue later this morning. That's when Councilman Drum is scheduled to hold a ceremony complete with a wedding cake. It'll be held at 10 a.m. at the Jackson Heights Post Office. In Queens, Anthony Pascal, New York One.